Hey everyone, Adam Metroid Media here, and in this video we're going to make our very own photo and video emergency kits just like this. So this little kit is something that I've taken with me on almost every single shoot over the past several years, and it's kind of like a first aid kit, and um, you know, I hope to not use it, but if I need something, it's in this pouch and there's a ton of stuff packed in here um, you know it weighs maybe a couple of pounds but it's really handy really easy to carry with you you can attach it to a belt you can throw it in a camera bag and we're going to go over all of the stuff that's packed into this little pouch starting right now so the first thing you want to consider when you're creating your own video photo emergency kit is what pouch you're going to use. Now, I choose this one because um, it's small. It's got two zippers, so I've got two different pouches on it. Um, it'll attach to maybe a belt or a bag with this. Um, it's got some of this like tactical, you know, um, webbing stuff on the back. So if I wanted to attach a couple of different things, maybe back there I could. It's got a couple of other little, you know, sections and hangings. Uh, it's got a section up here for uh, pens and pencils and things like that. And uh, it just, I, I found that it held a lot of stuff for what I needed and it's pretty cheap. I think these are like maybe 10 or 12 bucks. Now we're gonna go over the, all this stuff that's in here right now. So in this first pouch, this one on the back, I'm gonna unzip this. Uh, it kind of looks like a mess, but there's a ton of stuff packed in here. Now, first off, I've got a cord that's going to charge or power both of my Sony cameras. It's just a little USB one, it's braided. It's like three feet long. For the videographers in the group, a set of headphones. Again, this is just like a kind of a cheapo pair. Maybe I got it like a Walgreens or something that I, I needed to pick up when I forgot my headphones. Um, again, stuff that's come out of this kit, there's things that are going into this kit are things that I have maybe forgotten um, on a shoot or I realized that I left at home um, or stuff that I just find myself using all the time kind of in emergency situations. So always like having a backup set of headphones around. Also back here, I've got a multi-tool. This is in its own little pouch here. Uh, pretty standard multi-tool, it's got the pliers, the knife, all that sort of stuff. Also back here, I've got my Allen wrenches. Now there are uh, five right now that I use regularly. I've got another video on this little setup. I'm using an old bike tire to keep these all together. This is a really um, kind of lo-fi, but really elegant solution to keep all of your Allen wrenches together. You can flip one out that you need, turn it. This, you know, the rest of these almost provide kind of like a T-handle or a handle that you can turn stuff with. And then it clamps all back together, fits all back together. And it's just a nice, really low profile um, sort of package right there. So I've got that in the back. I've got a little flashlight there in the back too. Um, uh, just a little coast flashlight. It's focusable. Um, I find myself using this when I have to look inside of uh, bags and cases and stuff like that. Really nice to have around. Uh, maybe you're doing an early morning time lapse or something like that and you need to look at where you're going. Keep that around. A lens pin. Everyone should have a couple of these. Uh, it's got the little you know brush end here to clean the schmutz off your lens. Uh, and then it's got the harder end uh, to get maybe some of the fingerprints or things like that. Really handy. Uh, that's in that back case too. I've got a couple of little strips of Velcro back there in case I need to Velcro some stuff together. And then I've got an SD card. Now this is again, one of those things that I realized I left at home one time on a shoot. So I had to swing by like the a gas station or a Walgreens or something. I've um, got a 16 gigabyte card. This is not going to record 4k, but I realized that instead of, you know, maybe accidentally forgetting my cards all the time, if I've got this in my kit, I'm never going to be without an SD card. Now I can't shoot like 4k on it, like I said, but I could drop something down to maybe like a lower quality HD and still record on this card for quite a bit of time. Cause it's 16 gigabytes. Just throw it in a little case and keep it with you. I've also got a field notes notebook back here. And this is great for when you're out on shoots, you can mark down takes, you can write down ideas, jot stuff down. Um, this is a pretty new one. I went through my old one. I actually like these a lot. I've got a ton of these. Actually, I've got this really fun uh, National Parks one here because uh, I'm a huge nerd and I love to hike. Um, got those as a gift from someone and just haven't opened them yet. But anyway, all of this stuff is packed into that just one little pouch there on the back. Now moving up, we're going to open the second little pouch. Looking in this one, I've got a low profile Arca Swiss plate and adapter. Now this is the uh, little quick release plate. I think they came from my Peak Design uh, travel tripod. It's really, really low profile. I mean, it's like less than a half an inch wide uh, and it'll connect to this. And this is to turn pretty much any, um, you know, it's got a little quarter 20 screw on the back. So I could adapt my camera to pretty much anything with this. 
uh, in the back of the kit. Um, you know, maybe if I've got a couple of cameras with Arca Swiss adapters and my second shooter or someone that's filming with me doesn't have one, um, I can give them this, they can throw it on top of their tripod maybe. I've also got, um, and you all know that I am a big fan of the small rig um, you know, clamps. I've got one of these with a really, really tiny um, one of these arms around. Um, but what this is going to allow me to do with these two, I could adapt these together and essentially turn any surface into um, a mount for a camera. If let's say I forgot something or I like, God forbid, I forgot my tripod. Moving on, I've got a couple of other adapters back here. This is one from an aperture light that I got. It's a little uh, shoe mount um, and a little like micro articulating ball head. Um, I find myself using this one a lot uh, to adjust the position of things, maybe give myself a little bit of extra um, length um, for time lapses and things like that. Really great for small cameras or really small lights, um, but I do use that one pretty regularly. And then I've got a couple of other little adapters here. This is a pretty standard one you find with like microphone kits. It's got a shoe mount on one side, so you can adapt that down. And then a quarter 20 um, adapter on the back of it. So, you know, this will go on top of your camera and attach maybe like your microphone, um, your wireless microphone receiver, anything like that. You know, I love my old shredded um, or old cut down bike tire loops. Uh, these are great. You know, this is a longer one I can cut strips out of. Um, these are great to use as like little bungees um, to tie stuff together, um, like those Allen wrenches that we've got. Uh, I, you can also write on these with silver Sharpie, which is really, really handy. Um, and I've got a set of rechargeable batteries here, just two double A's so I can um, power pretty much anything I need to. And you could even write on these, you know, charged, uncharged, uh, Adam sucks. It doesn't really matter what you want to write on those. They take up a little amount of space um, and they're really, really handy. I've also got a pack of these adapters. Uh, these come in like a 10 pack. Um, I'll share the links with these below. Um, but this is essentially, there's a bunch of these little odds and ends that really, really save your butt on shoots. Now this is a little spigot and it's got a uh, 3 8 inch adapter on one end and a quarter 20 on the other. So you could turn something like this small rig clamp attach this to that and essentially you've turned this little bitty clamp into a light stand for maybe a small or lightweight light um, or something else maybe that you needed there so i like having these around um, i've got a you know kind of a, a big chunky tripod screw there that we're gonna tie in there just to save a little bit of space this comes in a big kit um, i like having these around too i've got a bunch of these these are these will take a quarter 20 a tripod mount and adapt it to a 3 8 inch you know screw so i use these for um, you know, the articulating arms on my camera rig that I'm filming right now with because a lot of microphones use the bigger ones and a lot of cameras use the smaller ones. I like to bundle all this stuff together to save space. So I've got a couple of little butterfly, um, you know, adapters here that you can screw on. I find these, I use them every once in a while. They're nice to have. Um, you can really ratchet stuff down if you need to. And one of the other things that I like, I started using these or started carrying these a few years ago, just a couple of little washers. Um, and these are just to give me a little bit of extra space if I need to um, as I'm mounting stuff around. They also provide kind of uh, an ad hoc, um, you know, tripod screw if you need them that way. But again, uh, this takes up very little space and there are one, two, three, four, five pieces in this little thing right here. This might be one of the heavier pieces that we've got in here. And this is a big impact um, spigot adapter like the smaller one but uh, it's much bigger much heavier um, and it's just going to it's going to turn something with a 3 8 inch screw into a big light you know kind of whatever baby pen whatever you want to call that um, and in the bottom I've got a quarter 20 to quarter 20 adapter with one of the quarter 20 to 8 inch you know kind of adapters in there sorry tripod screw adapters uh, and all these are screwed together just to save a little bit of space. I've got another one of these here with a couple of these tripod screws in either end to save some space. Um, a D-ring tripod screw. Now this is, these are really handy if you end up forgetting maybe a, you know, a flathead screwdriver or a quarter or something to do this. Uh, these just flip up and then you can kind of ratchet these in with your hand um, rather than needing a screw. These all come in a kit, it's like 10 bucks. It's like one of the handiest things you're ever gonna buy. One of my other things that I find myself using all the time are these little binder clips. I keep two of them around. Now these are really handy. I find myself using them when attaching lavalier microphones. So if you know maybe a gentleman has a polo shirt on or a lady has a dress on or something and you can't wind up through or it's kind of a pain to, what I like to do is wind it down maybe through the collar, attach the lavalier like this, and then around the back, you'll clip this on, um, you know, to the cord or clip the cord to their shirt. You can clip it down low, whatever. 
I like having these around. I find myself using them all the time. These are also good for attaching gels to lights and they're not gonna get um, you know, hot or melt. Um, you know, I don't use a lot of highlight, hot lights anymore, but I like having two of those around for those purposes. You gotta have a clothespin or a C47. Uh, again, not gonna get hot. These are great for clipping on um, all sorts of stuff, gels, things like that. I just keep an extra one around. I've got a whole bag full of them. I've got a couple of little um, earplugs in there that I use and uh, just to protect your ears uh, if I'm maybe filming B-roll and I don't need to pay attention to the audio necessarily. And this is something that I don't know where the hell I got these from. This is for, you know, maybe the edge of a camera or the edge of a tripod or something keeps bumping into a wall um, or, you know, there's something that's scraping along. You can pull these off, stick it to that. Um, it's going to keep that edge from being sharp and maybe injuring someone on set or from you maybe scratching a wall if you're on location somewhere filming. Um, I like to have a handful of these around. Um, I actually only have four left because I use them so often. So that is all in that second pouch. Moving around to the front, there's a lot of other little things packed into this front here too. So it's got this little you know, clip that you can undo. You can see we've got some pins in there. Uh, this is my pocket screwdriver. I like having this. It's a little maybe Stanley. It's got uh, Phillips head and flat heads um, on either side. So really, really nice. I find myself using this a lot for, you know, for tripod screws, things like that. Um, also those little bitty screws maybe that are on your camera. Black Sharpie. Silver Sharpies. Now, um, I've said this like four times, but I find myself using these constantly. You can write on your, you know, bike tires with them. You can write on gaffer's tape with them. I like having them around. You can mark on your, you know, bags even if you wanted to write your name or your production company name on there. Um, I've got a couple of other pins in here. They just kind of sit in there for writing in that uh, field notes book. I've got a black one, a red one in case I need one, and then just an additional one that's easy to grab. Now down here, Along this little piece, I've got uh, one of my bungee cords. I've also got another DIY bungee cord here in the back. And uh, this one is attached to a little, uh, I don't know, Jados lens rocket. And uh, these are good for, you know, blasting some of that uh, dust off of your lens or your camera in general. I like having those around. Uh, I've just attached it through one of the holes in the bottom with one of my DIY cable ties. It sits on there really nicely. The other kind of big star down here is this mini gaffer's tape roll. Now, um, if I could get it off, I'll show you this comes off relatively easy. And it's just a micro gaffer's tape roll, um, really tiny. They come in about double this uh, amount um, of tape, but um, really handy, really small, really easy to pack. And um, I clearly have used this a ton. It's great to just have around. Let's say you forget a roll of gaffer's tape or you just need to cover something up. Really, really handy to use. So there you have it, folks. That is my photo and video emergency kit and what I've got in there. Do you have something like this that you use on every single shoot or that you take with you all the time? If so, I'd love to hear about it. Um, you know, this is based on what I film and what we do here at Droid Media, but everyone films a lot of different things. And, um, you know, if you're a photographer, you're probably not going to have headphones. If you, you know, maybe do some cinematography, you might have some additional stuff in there, like a light meter rather than a multi-tool. So anyway, if you've got something like this, leave those in the comment section below. Share a photo with us on social media. Media. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see what you guys have been using. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you next time. Hey everyone, Adam with Roy Media here. <laughs> oh, here's the dog. <laughs>